Welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra and I'm broadcasting from Los Angeles. And today topic, we're going to talk about be here now, be in this moment, the only moment that exists. Something that so many of us all over the world have a very difficult thing to do. And somehow existence at this time in our life has pulled the plug on everybody. So it's a mandatory meditation, a mandatory um, time off that we're forced to stay home. And in this scenario that existence has led us to be in this situation has presented us with an incredible opportunity, a golden opportunity to ascend, to transcend our consciousness to the higher level, to a higher frequency. And this is a, a very unique opportunity for collective to do some inner work. And uh, obviously it's happening. There's no way out. There's nowhere to hide. There's nowhere to go. And um, everyone's facing with the same thing. Everyone's questioning the nature of their existence. Everybody's on the edge of, oh, am I gonna live or die? Am I gonna get this nasty virus and my existence will come to an end? So it forces you one way or the other because it's in the collective consciousness to question things, which is really in so many ways, it's a gift uh, because we have a tendency uh, Obviously, we like to control things. And we, we think we can be in control. We think that by putting our stuff in a certain way, uh, the people we want to be around in a certain way, whether we're manipulating things or not, uh, with our finances, with our job, with where we live, with family, friends, you're always trying to rearrange things. And the idea that it works for you. And so that's a natural tendency that human beings have. So the mind freaks out when it loses the sense of control that right now is this situation, a lot of us, cannot control what is happening. And A, um, you don't know, you may go down the street and to buy some grocery and maybe you get the virus. So that's very freaky for some people. Oh my God, I'm gonna go there. Maybe I get the virus so I may die. So it really forces you to pay attention to your existence. Uh, something on an ordinary basis we can fall asleep about and forget because at any moment something can happen to us and die. It's not this virus. Any moment in life, anything can happen. But why is it that on ordinary basis we don't pay any attention to it? But now that it's in our face, all of a sudden we're really questioning it or worried about it. So. So in some ways, this is a blessing because it forces us to come to some fundamentals. Is A, I'm here now. Right now I'm alive and this is all I get. But that is the same as before this pandemic happened or in, a, in the coming time, in the future. It's always here and it's always now. It can never be anything else. And yesterday, whatever you were doing, 
were still here in that moment when you were doing it, it was now. And tomorrow when you're doing something, again it's going to be here and it's going to be now. So it's always going to be here and it's always going to be now. It's never going to be something else. The mind has this tendency to dwell in the past or bring the stories of the past and projecting it into the future. So, and what it, by doing this, it fortifies its existence. It creates a, some substance that I exist, I'm in control, and I have something to say. When you disengage from the world of thoughts and you, the process of self-inquiry kicks in, self-awareness comes, and we begin to pay attention. This is paying attention. That's all it is, paying attention. Because again, before this pandemic, for a lot of people, sleepwalking, not paying any attention, and being in this dream. Even maybe they call themselves, uh, it's possible that they're calling themselves their spiritual or what, whatever it is. Again, the process is that as long as I can control things and have things in my way, all is well. The key is that being in this situation that you're not in control of anything. So is it, is, are you still in this place, all is well for you? Can you maintain your status? Can you maintain your composure? Or are you gonna be bent out of shape? It's very important. We need to really look at this, pay attention to it. But if you're capable of bringing your attention inwards and go beyond the thought, then you're gonna find yourself that you're here, okay? And here is continuously fresh. Here doesn't have a story. And this moment appears and you may have to deal with something in this moment and then the moment changes to the next moment. So then there's gonna be a fresh moment. And then whatever that is, you're gonna deal with that one. But it doesn't carry a story from the past and it's not projecting into the future. It's purely, it's just this right now. So if you pay attention, again, attention, you will see that the mind wants to make up stories. It wants to attach something to this moment, which creates fear or anxiety. Or it wants to go into the future and make, make a projection. Or what's gonna happen? Where we're we gonna go? Is financial world gonna collapse? Are we going to be alive? Da 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 da. Right? It didn't know what was going to happen 10 years ago, a year ago, six months ago, anyway. But then it wasn't so much of a big deal as it is right now because its existence is being questioned. So, especially by the spiritual warrior. 